that powerful, supernatural, and divine encounter with Jesus, Mary Magdalene became one of the most devoted followers of the Lord. She dedicated her life completely to the work of the ministry with her unwavering agape love, faithfulness, and financial support to the master. Mary Magdalene, along with the mother of Jesus, Mary, were present, uh, were present while Jesus was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, which was Sunday, Mary went to the tomb very early in the morning. Seemed to Joy is going to relay the event at the tomb.
That's very special. Bruce, this is his very, Bruce is 70 years old. This is his very, very first assignment. <laughs> Made the drama. Every first of every day. So good job, Bruce. God is faithful. Yes. And if this is <laughs> actually, anyway. We just want to thank you all for giving us, especially for Fred and Dory, for giving us a, excuse me, a stage to minister to our people, to our to our group. We are all, all, all of us are in this together. And the the message is that Jesus is resurrected, he's alive, and he is here right now. He's in us, he's around us, upon us. We are covered with Jesus inside and outside. So don't you ever feel like God is not with you, even though you don't feel it, because God is with us. And so the message is to preach and, and share the gospel to all people that you encounter. Because Mary, after the conversion, she became the very first evangelist of the New Testament church. Isn't that wonderful? A possessed woman became the first evangelist of the New Testament church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the next one? <laughs> next time. Next time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's negotiate. And I want to thank you, Marino, Joy, and and Carol, thank you. Oh, by the way, that was all unscripted, and a lot of them were spontaneous. So we just feel it and just do it. <laughs>